So this is my easy, healthy, budget-friendly bread that I make from home. So this is an ancient Roman grain spelt and it's easy to digest. If you've got any gallbladder issues, this will be a lot easier on it. It's not gonna aggravate it and cause that pain that you get. So I've just parboiled a kettle and I'm going to put in my yeast. It's really important to have warm water. This will activate the yeast. If it's too hot, it's going to kill it. Then we're going to feed the yeast with some sugar. So about half a teaspoon again of sugar. I'm using coconut sugar here because this is my preference. I try to abstain from white processed sugar as much as possible. So just giving this a stir and let it sit for a couple of minutes to do its thing. So the yeast is going to eat the sugar and it's gonna create a gas. The gas is what is going to help our dough rise. Lovely, I know. So after a couple of minutes, we're gonna add in our flour. So the important thing here is to make sure we haven't added too much water because if you have like half a bag of sugar, uh, half a bag of flour left, if you need to add more flour because you've added too much water, then you won't be able to. So you can always add more water, you can't take it away. So keep that in mind when combining. So I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. I always use sea salt or pink Himalayan salt for this. I never use table salt because it is coated with aluminium. Aluminium goes through the blood brain barrier and causes dementia. That's why we should stay away from the V's and aluminium pans as well. So I've combined this and it's still a little bit too dry. So I've added a little bit more water and mixing this. Start off on a low speed, otherwise you'll end up with a dust cloud in your kitchen. So building the speed up, you can still see that it's starting to come together now. But it's a little bit too claggy still. So what we want to see here is the bowl to be nice and clean. So when the dough is becoming ready, it's gonna to start to clean all the sides of the bowl and it's gonna form a ball on the hook. You can see that it's still a little bit too wet. So if it sticks to your fingers, you know that this is not ready yet. So we should add a little bit more flour and again, start this off slowly and build up the speed. And when you see it start to come together, it starts to clean up the bowl then you know that the dough is almost ready. And the one thing I love about this KitchenAid mixer is that my, this bowl has a lid. So I can just stick the lid on this and set it there to prove. <clears throat> so it's good to leave this in a warm place so that it can activate the yeast better. If, you, if it's cold, just like in England, you can leave this on the front of your oven door. So open your oven down, put it on for a little bit and just let it sit there. So I'm gonna put my cheesecloth or muslin into my basket, sprinkle in some flour so that the dough doesn't stick and let this rest for half an hour to an hour just so that it can rise again. So coming back later, opening it up, I'm going to turn it out into my pan and score it. I'm going to create a Dutch oven, so I'm going to put some ice cubes inside the pan and put it in the oven for 25 minutes at 160 degrees fan and after then take the lid off and then let it bake for about another 10 minutes until it sounds hollow when you knock your fingers on it. The best way I like to eat this is to put butter on it, hot out of the oven with a fresh duck egg. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know if you tried this recipe.